So Andy Venda, so uh, I'm so happy, Andy. We have a very good collaboration over the years, and you, you was with us with the Ebola outbreak, and helped us a lot to to establish rapid diagnostic and help uh, uh, people identifying Ebola directly on site, together with the Institute Pasteur de Dakar and our co collaborator in Guinea. And uh, as Bonnie said, uh, uh, Andy always uh, try to help and implement this rapid diagnostics. Uh, for field settings, uh, especially for emerging and neglected diseases. And I'm sure Andy has a lot to tell us uh, in his presentation. So Andy, please go ahead. Yeah, thank you very much um, for the introduction. First of all, very thankful for, for the webinar, for the speakers, um, also for the great interest in the audience and uh, that we have so many um, interested guests. So with the next um, like 10 minutes, it's rather short. Um, I would uh, like to introduce you to um, what we do at Expedite Diagnostics and um, how it is connected to uh, the work, the scientific work that was just presented in, by the three speakers today. So um, Expedite Diagnostics um, at a glance, it's a very young, still young startup company. We just had our first birthday, so to say. We, we founded um, the company in November 2020. And um, our focus is clearly on molecular diagnostics. Um, that is not restricted only to human diagnostics or veterinary diagnostics, but we also um, uh, aim to provide um, solutions and products for plant um, testing, for example, or or food testing. Our core expertise is clear, uh, clearly in nucleic acid extraction solutions. Um, you will see also in the um, next slides then. And um, despite of being quite young, we have already three um, extraction kits on the market. Uh, two of them are not only re for research use, but also are um, CE IVD marked. And last but not least, um, all our operations is ISO 9001 um, certified. So um, yeah, we are not just uh, some some wild um, crowd of people working on something, but um, our uh, core aim is also to provide um, high quality um, products and um, want to ensure this um, through a certified uh, quality management system. So, what's our mission? Um, we we put our mission to be uh, to provide innovative and rapid molecular solutions which are independent of the laboratory setting. That means um, it shall not only be um, able to be applied uh, in large laboratories, but also in, in small labs or even at the point of care or point of need, as was shown in the um, presentations. So um, we have three pillars, um, how we want to um, achieve that mission. First of all, we want to challenge uh, the status quo in sample preparation. Um, as you have seen, um, all these rapid extractions the Swift X product family, um, which I will introduce you in a minute, um, is uh, just having a few examples of uh, rapid ways um, of extracting RNA and DNA from biological samples. Second uh, pillar is um, to bring those molecular technologies uh, such as um, isothermal amplifications to the point of care, to the point of use. Uh, for that, we have um, joined with a Chinese company and distribute currently uh, recombinase aided amplification reagents, um, shortly a RAA, which is very similar to RPA. And um, yeah, uh, that is, is our um, try to contribute to a full workflow for our customers, not only providing the extraction kits, but also providing uh, the ability to um, detect and amplify uh, the extracted nucleic acids. And third, last but not least, if you think about uh, human diagnostics, um, we want to ensure regulatory compliance and we apply this uh, for this very lean approaches. Of course, always in compliance with the regulations, um, but um, we have dedicated R&D procedures which ensure from scratch, from the beginning of a development project, uh, that we can achieve a very fast uh, CE IVD marking of our extraction kits. So um, the core essence um, of our expertise is what we call the SwiftX toolbox. 
Um, it is uh, comprised of uh, several buffers, enzymes, and also particles. Uh, in the table, you see some examples. They have all different um, uh, purposes, like cell binding, inhibitor removal, amplification enhancement, and so on. And um, the idea, and that we have proven a couple of times already, is to, um, according to a request from a customer or um, according to our own research, market research, um, combine those uh, components um, to a uh, to tailor made a solution for um, an application, and that can be in life science, can be in veterinary um, diagnostics, human diagnostics, but also the the other fields. And then quite quickly come up, uh, we can up uh, we can come up with a um, SwiftX prototype kit, which then can be tested um, at uh, external beta testers. So um, by that way, we have so far um, developed and available um, on the market three different kits. The name is um, family name is SwiftX, obviously, and uh, the three kits are SwiftX Swaps, SwiftX Media, and SwiftX DNA. Um, currently ongoing developments uh, we do have for SwiftX Virus, RNA, and SwiftX Plant, which are also um, similarly to the existing one. Um, uh, developed with the idea of a rapid extraction. So they are uh, for sure um, faster than existing solutions for these type of extractions. And um, yeah, my, our pipeline is um, filled for the future. So um, we are not bored in the lab. Um, it's just a list of, um, of applications we um, aim for in the next year, let's say 2022 and, and next year for sure. So coming to the uh, existing products, um, so we do have these SwiftX swaps and media applications that um, I grouped them together here because they are basically one step DNA RNA extraction kits. Um, they contain uh, a lysis buffer um, coupled with um, uh, another, um, in this case, a solid component, which uh, is then resuspended in the buffer once before you start your extraction. Um, these components are um, also containing um, uh, broad spectrum uh, proteases and um, the sample types that um, are to be addressed by the kits are here um, indicated for SwiftX swaps. The name says everything. The main sample type is indeed swapped samples itself without them being uh, transferred into a liquid medium such as any transport media. In contrast, SwiftX Media is uh, more um, or was developed with the aim to uh, have a quick extraction uh, for samples that are um, already um, transferred into a transport medium like UTM, VTM, saline or liquid amies. Um, but you can also address other liquid um, uh, specimens with SwiftX Media such as saliva or cell cultures. So what's the principle um, behind these kits? Um, obviously, it's it's very simple. It's a one-step procedure. Um, but um, maybe good to know is that the lysis buffers are formulated in a way that they stabilize the viral particles, if you have some in your sample, before the actual lysis step. The protease um, enables an efficient DNAs and RNAs inactivation. Um, so stabilizing your sample after uh, the lysis basically and also removing inhibiting uh, effects from those enzymes and uh, finally it's a one step and heat driven lysis of cells and viruses which is proven very uh, to be very efficient and uh, having a good yield also good to know and uh, that's in the last for these two kits is um, the component E, which is the lysis buffer of the SwiftX swaps kit, can also be used as a transport medium. So you could basically use it um, to uh, elude your swap material in that and then directly go into the um, extraction procedure. Um, and for the SwiftX media, um, also um, important to mention at least is that uh, due to the uh, way of extraction, this is not suited for um, transport media that contain inactivating agents such, such as um, guanidine or alcohols. And with that, I want to um, switch to the SwiftX DNA. Um, the title um, I, I chose is to, to make also an um, important take-home message. SwiftX DNA is a new speed extract. 
So a speed extract nucleic acid kit um, was marketed by Kyogen for uh, not such a long time, was discontinued a couple of years ago. Uh, basically, I have invented it and developed it there. Um, um, I left Kyogen after some time and uh, shortly after that it was basically also discontinued. Uh, nevertheless, uh, me and uh, the whole team at um, Expedite is is and was uh, absolutely convinced that this is a great product and um, uh, has huge um, opportunities for application. And that's why we aim to revive this product um, under Expedite brand and our new name is then Swift XDNA. But in fact, um, the kit contains um, uh, uh, like the speed extract uh, um, and binding buffer called buffer EN here, a lysis buffer, which is the DL, and uh, the magnetic particles um, called beats A. And um, we can also show in the lab, and we have see and seen this uh, feedback from early customers already, that the um, handling and also the performance of SwiftX DNA is indeed um, exactly like the Kyogen speed extract, which does not exist anymore. <clears throat> so um, the applicable sample types are very diverse. Um, I just listed here a lot. Um, it, it can be different um, solid samples uh, such as swabs, um, preconcentrated cells, um, blood spots. Uh, can also be liquid samples such as um, urine, saliva, cell cultures, uh, but also other liquid samples such as um, whole blood or uh, liquid cytology media. Here on the right, you see um, that we have um, available different protocols how to apply the SwiftX DNA kit according to the sample types uh, you are looking for. I will go a little bit into more detail uh, in the next slide then. Uh, the principles um, of SwiftX DNA are a little bit different um, compared to the other two kits which I just introduced. Um, most obvious and uh, mentioned a couple of times in the um, talks we had today is the cell capture. The cell capture um, uh, happens before the um, actual extraction um, of the DNA, before the lysis of the cells. Um, that's um, really a big difference to existing um, uh, yeah, silica-based kits. And then we have again a heat driven lysis of cells and viruses. However, this time we do not have um, any enzymes uh, involved, just the heat plus, of course, the formulation of the lysis buffer. And last but not least, it's very important, is the removal of inhibitory substances through the magnetic beads. Um, obviously, these are not uh, silica beads such as in the standard um, purification kits, but um, have different um, surface chemistry. Um, yeah, that's just basically uh, just repeating um, through this reverse purification. Um, it is shown that SwiftX DNA is um, having uh, much more or is yielding much more robust um, DNA extracts, um, which are uh, superior to other more simple direct lysis um, protocols and products. And uh, since there was a question also about the um, universal yeah, the universal binding of um, cells to the beads. Um, you see here a list of um, cells, bacteria and parasites which are proven to be uh, binding to the beads. So you can um, address them with, uh, for example, protocol two or three, which includes the cell capture. Um, yeah, and with that, I want to show you briefly how um, SwiftX DNA works. So this protocol one, which is um, applicable to solid samples such as tissues or um, centrifuge cells or swapped samples, is um, a, basically a two-step process. Um, you have this heat-driven lysis um, of your um, analyte, of your uh, yeah, um, pathogen. And um, after that, you um, or during that heat lysis, um, there occurs also the binding of uh, cell debris and other unspecific uh, matter in your uh, lysate to the magnetic particles. Um, after separation of them, you have basically a cleared lysate, which is ready to uh, be applied to your downstream uh, method um, right away. So it's a very simple process. And for um, applying SwiftX DNA to uh, liquid samples, for example, 
you um, have uh, the protocol two, which still makes use of this, uh, let's call it uh, the lysis module. Um, but um, up front to this lysis module, we have a um, cell capture module um, where you incubate your liquid specimen with the uh, magnetic particles and the binding buffer. Uh, give it a three minute time, um, quite short. And um, during that, the cells uh, contained in the sample will bind to the magnetic particles. You can separate it and by that capture and um, concentrate your cells. You can remove all the non-cellular matters uh, like from urine uh, or, um, or, or the blood um, from the actual white blood cells and pathogens in your blood sample. And then you resuspend your um, uh, magnetic beads with those bound cells into the lysis buffer and then you um, employ the uh, lysis module. And um, if you have a um, little bit more complex samples such as whole blood samples, then you would uh, employ protocol three, which is more or less identical to protocol two. It just uh, features one more wash step um, after the first binding of the cells to the magnetic particles um, to just improve the removal of uh, non-cellular matters and um, uh, inhibitory substances contained in your original sample. So then the question is, how can it be uh, performed, the method? Um, you can perform it um, manually in, in tubes um, for low or medium throughput, um, which would be um, more um, prevalent in small laboratories or at the point of care or point of need, however you want to name it. This picture is taken from a uh, publication. I think it was from uh, Ahmed actually, um, which shows um, the uh, suitcase laboratory which he uh, developed. Um, but also the method can be applied in a more high throughput fashion and um, let's say routine diagnostic laboratories. Uh, for that, uh, you can uh, tweak uh, machines such as this Kingfisher Flex, uh, where you can, um, uh, or we can provide um, protocols for it, um, but also other machines like this Tanbeat um, uh, instrument from a Taiwanese company, um, which also employs magnetic bead manipulation and uh, heat uh, induction to the sample. And um, yeah, what's, what are the reasons to use the SwiftX DNA? Um, obviously, it's uh, not containing any um, hazardous substances such as guanidine, alcohols, phenol. It's very easy to handle. Uh, you don't need any centrifuge. Um, it uh, features the cell capture step. If you have um, liquid samples and you uh, want to um, concentrate your, your analyte uh, before the lysis, then this is a very helpful thing. It is more robust than um, simple uh, rapid extractions because it features this reverse purification mechanism uh, through the magnetic particles. And um, of course, uh, obviously, um, it enables you to continue uh, research like working with a speed extract um, or just um, uh, um, exploring uh, new fields uh, for application. And um, but the big difference to uh, this Kyogen product back then is that you will now have a much better product support by the manufacturer, which is um, Expedite Diagnostics. So um, as Bonnie said, we are always keen to uh, work together with um, our customers and, and scientists around the world, and we are very um, responsive and try to help you um, to adapt uh, protocols to your needs or discuss with your results if you want, uh, and trying to see how you can improve your um, yield of DNA. Um, or extraction yield, yeah. And uh, additionally, I also want to mention that we also offer um, not only the SwiftX DNA as a kit as it is, um, but also additional uh, components which might be useful for you, such as separate buffer EN, which would uh, enable you to um, process liquid samples with volumes larger than one mil. Um, in some cases, that's needed um, to further improve sensitivity. Uh, we also provide um, proteinase K separately that can help uh, in improving the yield from tissue samples or tissue biopsies. And we also provide um, uh, magnetic racks with strong neodymium uh, magnets, which are um, really available for a fair price and not as expensive as some of the bigger companies where you see um, racks for a couple of hundreds uh, of euros or dollars. 
So with that, um, I want to close my um, presentation. I hope you found it a little bit helpful and thank you very much for your attention. Thank you.